Hi, my name is Frank Gress. And my name is Amit Sachde. And we are part of a growing team that is spreading the word that we can live in a world without colon cancer. Did you know that in the United States, colorectal cancer, often referred to as colon cancer, is the second most common cause of cancer death and the third most commonly diagnosed cancer worldwide? Colon cancer is not only preventable, it is treatable and it is beatable. It is estimated that over 135,000 people are diagnosed with colorectal cancer in the United States each year. 700,000 people will die from colon cancer worldwide this year, which is astounding seeing that over 90% of the cases of colorectal cancer can be prevented. The warning signs for colon cancer include rectal bleeding, a change in bowel habits, narrowing of stool, unexplained weight loss, fatigue, anemia, or constipation that lasts for more than a few days. Most cancers of the colon and rectum develop over years from abnormal growths of tissue called polyps. Removing the growths early can prevent cancer. It is important to note that colon polyps and early colon cancer often causes no symptoms. In the United States, all average risk adults between the ages of 50 and 75 should be screened for colon cancer. The decision to be screened after age 75 should be made on an individual basis. Increased risk individuals have a personal family history of colorectal cancer. These patients should speak with their health care provider and may need to initiate screening at the age of 40 or sooner. High risk individuals have a family history of inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, or ulcerative colitis. These individuals should go to a center of excellence for IBD surveillance and management. The highest risk individuals have confirmed their family history of suspected genetic diseases. Because there are numerous ways to get screened for colon cancer and numerous ages to initiate screening based on your individual risk factors, you should speak with your doctor about the best time to initiate screening. There are multiple screening tests for colon cancer. Your doctor can advise you which test is best for you. The most commonly used screening tests are at-home stool-based tests and visualization tests. The most commonly used visualization tests include the colonoscopy, CT imaging called CT colonography, or a flexible sigmoidoscopy. The colonoscopy is considered the gold standard. Many people think colonoscopy is the only option. It's not. Consult a doctor about which screening test is best for you. Imagine a world without colorectal cancer. Please get screened for colon cancer today. Screening saves lives and it can save your life.